Hi everybody, my name's Anna and I'm the author and the illustrator of the book called Hector, the dragon who hiccup, <laughs> hiccup, <laughs> hiccuped marshmallows. This is Hector. Say hi Hector. Hello Hector. <laughs> so as it's Christmas Eve, Hector and I thought we would snuggle down with some cosy cushions and blankets, Christmas trees and twinkly lights and most importantly a yummy scrummy hot chocolate mm. Mm. and I'll read you the story of Hector who meets his friend Cindy Cinnamon at the North Pole hot chocolate cabin so if you're sitting comfortably we shall begin <laughs> Hector is a dragon, but not just any old dragon. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is Hector. And he lives in a land of make-believe and magic in the furthest north, the furthest north that you can possibly go. You may ha even have heard of it because it is the winter wonderland that is home to Father Christmas, the elves, the reindeer and all the other arctic creatures. It is the North Pole. Before we embark on our enchanting tale, there's something you must know about our dear Hector. You see, he is not just any ordinary dragon, but a rare and wondrous snow dragon. In fact, he hails from a lineage of frosty dragons that stretches back to the very break of dawn in the history of time itself. However, our Hector, he was the Rudolph among the snow dragons. He was never invited to join any dragon games. He was not like the others. He stood out like a shimmering snowflake in a winter storm. Now, my curious friends, you may be asking, what, pray trail, is a snow dragon? Have you ever gazed upon a freshly snow-covered landscape, wondering how the world transforms into a wintry wonderland overnight? Have you pondered why snowflakes tend to pirouette from the heavens under the cover of night gifting you with a morning of pure white enchantment well dear hearts let me introduce you to the splendid craftsmanship of none other than the snow dragons these mythical creatures you see are rather bashful by nature they take to the skies much like their fiery brethren but Instead of belching out flames, they breathe forth a wondrous powdery gift. And yes, you've guessed it, it's snow. Now, now, if you happen to find yourself under a gentle frosting, quite like icing sugar, it's quite likely a snow dragon sneezed as it whizzed past your house on a mission to blanket some distant place in a flurry of snowflakes. The wind is picking up here. A storm might be on its way. Maybe it's all the talk of these snow dragons. They're listening and they're thinking, hmm, it's time for us to do some stormy magic. Don't worry, they're very friendly. Ah, but behold, dear friends, for Hector was no ordinary snow dragon, not in the slightest. No, no. To begin with, he was a vision of pinkish lilac in stark contrast to his stately white and grey family members. And brace yourselves for the most fantastical twist. 
Instead of the conventional dragon tricks of fiery breath or snowy exhalations, Hector possessed a marvellously sweet secret. You see, every time a cough, sneeze or hiccup fluttered through his whimsical dragon self, it was as if a magical sugar-coated spell had been cast. Fluffy, sugary pastel marshmallows kissed with the fragrance of pure vanilla would just cascade forth from his dragon nostrils like a confetti of confectionery delights. It was a sight to behold, I assure you. Now, you may be wondering why Hector found himself plagued by these peculiar, rather peculiar hiccups. Well, the truth of the matter remains an enigma, which means a little bit of a mystery. No one quite knows for certain. Some say, however, it's because of his unwavering love for the fizzy, whizzy delight known as Polar Pop. Yes, that fizzy concoction that the mischievous elves adore because the elves adore it for it powers their floating balloons a bit like hot air balloons. A bit like hot air balloons only, only it powers them. The fizzy whiz powers their hot air balloons. And it serves as their favourite mode of transportation among the whimsical nooks and crannies of their magical world. Ah, the mysteries of Hector and his sugary hiccups intertwined with the enchanting secrets of the elves and their fizzy delights. So when you drink lemonade or a fizzy drink, do you sometimes get the burps as the gases come up? Whoop! Well, they think that is why Hector hiccups so much because of the sheer amount of fizzy polar pop he drinks. Just need to make sure that he's brushing all those teeth, otherwise the dentist isn't going to be very happy with him. Hector's heart yearned for a snowy adventure with his dragon clan, but his inability to conjure snowflakes left him feeling somewhat sad and rather lonely. On one particularly chilly Tuesday, as the frosty winds tickled the tips of his scales, Hector waved the snow dragons off with a with a heavy heart with a sigh as chilly as the winter breeze he watched them disappear into the horizon feeling as gloomy as a snowstorm in july hector soared with the dragons until they reached the very cusp of the village where he could venture no farther with a heavy hurt he heart he turned and the tears began to flow from his eyes like tiny shimmering crystals Alas, the whimsical twist in Hector's tale, as we now well know, was that whenever he shed tears, sneezed or coughed, or shortly thereafter, he succumbed to the most peculiar and enchanting of afflictions, the hiccups. As he hiccuped and hiccuped again, the most astonishing of consequences unfurled. Fluffy, vanilla-scented, cloud-like marshmallows began to tumble from his nostrils. And so, amidst these tears, Hector's tail was on the verge of a remarkable transformation. His moment of sorrow soon to be turned into a spectacle of sugary enchantment. At the outskirts of Christmas Village lies a frozen lake, a place where winter's icy touch transforms it into a magical stage for ice skating. Here the ice glistens like a thousand twinkling stars, inviting all to partake in the frosty merriment. What could be more delightful after a spirited glide than nesting in the warmth of a comforting cup of cocoa? Ah, but the cocoa is not just any cocoa. It's a steaming elixir of joy served from the coziest little nook in the village. This charming haven is lovingly overseen by none other than Cindy Cinnamon, who doesn't just dispense delicious warmth in the form of liquid chocolate, but she also serves up generous helpings of cheer and goodwill to all who cross her path. Just as Cindy was about to close her beloved hot chocolate kiosk and indulge in a steaming cup of cocoa herself, she cast her eyes upward. And lo and behold, what appeared to be a pink cloud drifted by in the sky. Though this cloud seemed to be shedding tears. 
as we know, this was no ordinary cloud. This was none other than our dear friend Hector. As Hector drew near, a grand spectacle unfolded, for he let out an enormous hiccup that echoed through the snowy night. And oh, what a magical hiccup it was. A mighty torrent of creamy, vanilla-scented marshmallows cascaded from his dragonly snout, tumbling to the ground like sugary confetti. But amid the marshmallow flurry, Hector couldn't help but hear a peculiar sound. A dollop, or perhaps more of a splosh, and then a tiny shriek. Peering downward with curiosity, he beheld a most extraordinary sight indeed. Cindy had been unexpectedly splashed with hot chocolate. Fearful of what he might find, Hector cautiously peered down to find that Cindy had a quizzical and curious look upon her face. Mm. Hector, feeling a tad embarrassed, landed gracefully next to Cindy. He was about to apologise profusely, but before he could utter a word, Cindy turned her gaze upon him. And oh, what a gaze it was! A radiant, beaming smile stretched across her face. In an instant, she wrapped her arms around Hector in the grandest of hugs. A polar bear hug, if you will. Thank you, she exclaimed, making Hector nearly jump out of his scales. This is exactly what I've been longing for, and I can hardly believe it. Well, dear readers, what was Hector to make of this? Here he stood, embraced by someone who seemed to adore him for precisely who and what he was. Hector was left utterly befuddled in the midst of marshmallows and cocoa splashes. Naturally, as you might have expected, Cindy and Hector became the bestest of friends in the twinkling of an eye. Amidst cheerful chit-chat and merry laughter, a scheme was hatched. A scheme that beckoned Hector to return to his cosy abode and enjoy a restful night's slumber. For tomorrow, an exciting new chapter awaited him as he prepared to embark on his first day of work at the Hot Chocolate Kiosk. The following morning, Hector sprang out of his slumber as the first rays of dawn kissed the sky, painting it with hues of enchantment. Yet, despite the cheery morning light, his heart was heavy with dread and worry. You see, he hadn't caught a glimpse of the other dragons returning from their night's adventure. A whirlwind of thoughts swirled within him like a cacophonous carnival of doubt. These thoughts turned his tummy into a wobbling, wiggling sensation, like a glorious jelly centrepiece at a grand party. For a fleeting moment, Hector considered not going at all, but then a resolute determination welled up within him, sparked by his new friendship. So, with a dragon-sized gulp of courage, he set forth to face the day, ready to take his place with Cindy at the hot chocolate kiosk. Cindy welcomed Hector with a smile that could rival the enchantment of a thousand fairy tales. In her hands, she held an apron adorned with candy cane stripes and proudly emblazoned with the North Pole Hot Chocolate Company logo. With a musical giggle, she slipped it over Hector's head and at that very moment, he felt a swell of pride like never before. And so, from that day forth and for Every day thereafter, you could find Hector at the kiosk with a smile on his face and joy in his heart. With gentle dragon breath, he would send fluffy marshmallows dancing like sugary snowflakes into the steamy cups of cocoa. And that, my dear friends, is the delightful origin of the cherished tradition, having marshmallows adorn your hot chocolate like sweet floating dreams. May it endure for many frosty seasons to come and there's no doubt it will as long as Cindy and Hector continue to sprinkle their magic touch upon each cup of cocoa. P.S. Hector and Cindy 
even made it into the Candy Cane Chronicle, the North Pole's newspaper. Also, just in case you are wondering about the other snow dragons, well, when they heard the news, they hugged Hector so very tightly, said they were proud of him, and that they were very sorry, so very, very, very sorry for being mean. And they hadn't quite realised just how mean they were. Paper article in the Candy Game Car Rock Chaos. Get ready for a fluffy twist on your Coco Delights by Tina Tinsel, special correspondent. Cindy Cinnamon's Cozy Coco has just welcomed a new member to its team, and this one's a real snowstopper. Meet Hector, the friendly snow dragon, whose delightful duty is to add a touch of magic to your hot chocolate at the North Pole's coziest kiosk. Our beloved snow dragon Hector, known for his love of all things sweet and snowy, has taken on the role of Chief, Chief Marshmallow Maestro at the North Pole's popular hot chocolate kiosk. With a gentle puff of his icy breath, he conjures the fluffiest marshmallows you've ever seen, making every cup of cocoa a frothy, cloud-like delight. According to Hector, there's no greater joy than seeing the smiles on the faces of customers as they sip their hot chocolate with, air, with my marshmallow magic. It warms my heart and I'm delighted to be part of the cocoa crew. Mrs. Claus herself raved about Hector's marshmallow Miss Mastery, saying, His marshmallows are simply out of this world, and I can't wait to enjoy my hot chocolate with a few extra fluffy toppings. So, if you're planning a visit to the lake, be sure to stop by the hot chocolate kiosk and say hello to Hector the Snow Dragon. Your cup of cocoa will never be the same again, thanks to a touch of snowy enchantment that only Hector can provide. Cheers to warmth, wonder, and marshmallow magic and that my dear friends is a story of how Hector our dear friend Hector the snow dragon who's not really a snow dragon because he hiccups marshmallows came to work at hot chocolate kiosk by the icy frozen ice skating lake at the North Pole there we go I'm going to finish my hot chocolate and then I'm going to go and hang my stocking and go to bed and wait for Father Christmas to come and visit us. Mm. Merry Christmas, everybody. One last thing before I go, just to say that Hector is available in paperback now on Amazon and it's available in all countries on Amazon and Amazon Prime. So get yourself a copy in paperback now. Um, I'm working on the hard, hardbound copy, hardback copy, because it's going to be longer. It's got more content in it, but that won't be available until hmm, sometime next year when I, when I get cracking <laughs> lots of work to do um so yeah check out hector on amazon prime now send a gift of merry chocolate cheer to a friend or a loved one merry christmas everybody